Welcome back. The, regarding the UI, we will use a framework called Radzen for Plazer. It's a very, very nice UI and it has a very huge amount of uh, controls or elements for the UI that you need across all your applications from forms to containers, general like buttons, icon image, dialogues, notification. It has almost everything you need in building your apps. This is one of the frameworks, but I prefer this rather than others. Like there is a matte blazer, which is for material design, but I think Redzen is very good. Now, to get started with Redzen first, we should do very few steps. First one is to install the Redzen uh, from NuGet. You can go for NuGet packages here, like manage NuGet package and search for radzen.blazor. Okay, this one, hit install, accept. Okay, it's ready. Now, the second step is to go to www root index html and import the CSS and GS files that are related to Redzen. You can find them here. Copy this line. All the code we are write and working on during the course is going to be available on GitHub. You can find the link in the description box below so you can follow step by step or you can fork the project if you want to add the changes or to see the code manipulated in the way you want it's going to be available on github now the js file and paste it here okay close this is everything we want it's pretty simple now we can just go for imports which is just a very basic file that contains that imports all the uh, namespaces that we will use in our components so we can import radzen.laser okay save now we can try that so let's go to index index page and add a very basic radzen button say radzen button text hey welcome and let's run the project okay this is our new nice button okay it looks very good and as you can see it's pretty easy to start and import okay now starting from the next video we will start with authentication first by defining the layout of login and register page because login and register will have a different layout uh, other than the normal stuff in the application because you know uh, the user won't be registered so he shouldn't see the menu or something like this we will see all of that in the next video